Hello everyone, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Leo, it's time for your September reading. I appreciate your patience. And I'm sorry it was just your turn to go last this time. So, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you all wholeheartedly. Alright, this is a reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message. Give me two of the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. It might not be your reading. Check your placements, your moon, your rising, your Venus. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, then get these freaking cards to shuffle. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And of course, cross-watchers are always welcome here. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Okay. Why are you here? Ace of Cups. Something new? Is there new love on the horizon? Is there someone new trying to hand you a cup? That's amazing. Or perhaps that's what you're looking for. Perhaps what the other that's what the other party involved is looking for. Who knows? We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Four of Swords, you may well be putting something to rest. Okay. The Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is the card of heartbreak. That's what that's telling me. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? The Sun card could be another Leo you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. They also have water and air on the board. They bring sunshine into your life. It's a true soulmate connection. Possibly mutually felt. We'll get a clarifier in a second. What do you want from the person you're dealing with? The Hermit. The Hermit is a card of introspection. It's a card of healing. It's kind of walking that dark path, holding that light, figuring your stuff out. Maybe the person you're dealing with has some things they need to figure out, some things they need to look inside and see a little bit clearly. Okay, or more clearly. How does the person you're dealing with feel about you, Ace of Pentacles? That's the beginning of something beautiful and abundant and wonderful. That's the first to ten, baby. That's a seed that mm, can potentially take a long time to grow. Maybe this is a slow mover. Maybe you guys have known each other for a minute. Who knows? What do they think of you? Justice. Hmm. Okay. That's very interesting. Justice is what happens after the karmic wheel spins. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's the tipping of the scales. It's the balancing out. I'll throw a clarifier on that in a second before I speak any more on that. What do they want from you, Knight of Wands? They may not be ready to commit. They may have some wild oats they still got to sow, some fun they still want to have, whatever. We all know what the wands represent, and we all better be adults here, just saying. Just saying. Don't need to be no babies up in here. Okay? I know I would flip out if my kid was watching a reader on YouTube, just saying. <laughs> Me being a reader, you know. I would not be thrilled. Just saying, this is not for children. Okay. Knight of Wands. Somebody might not be ready to commit. The wild oats need to be sown. Blah, blah, blah. Next. The obstacle in this connection is a Two of Cups. The obstacle could be the coming together. The obstacle could be another connection altogether. We'll give it a minute. Potential solution, the magician. He is the manifester. 
He controls all four of the elements. He has them at his disposal. Hmm. That is extremely interesting indeed. Okay. Let's get some clarity for our Leo friends, shall we? Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 2020, please? Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Okay. Oh! Two of Cups, Three of Swords. Came out without intention, Ace of Cups. We throw them up here when that happens, right? I think I know what your obstacle is now because there's a particular connection that's causing some heartbreak. Maybe they're taking a cup from uh, taking cups from someone else possibly. Could be you are, I don't know. I don't know. Why is the four of swords here? Now taking twenty cards. One or two, please. Why is the four of swords here? I'm not taking four cards. I'm not doing it. One or two. Come on. Thank you. That's one. Star reversed. Laying something to rest. Communication wasn't so functional, possibly. Healing needs to take place that hasn't yet. And this is how you feel about them. So, the moon. Things left to be seen. Hmm. It's interesting. Very interesting. Things yet to be illuminated. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with, maybe an Aquarius. Possibly a Libra, possibly a Virgo, possibly an Aries, Taurus, or Gemini. Seven of Pentacles. They could be just being extremely patient and waiting and seeing how things pan out and just Letting you have chill time. Maybe this new connection understands that you're dealing with a heartbreak and you got some healing you got to do. Possibility. Why is the sun here? For what the other, for what, blah, 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 blah. for what Leo thinks of the other person in this connection. One card, please. One card. La 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 la. Justice reversed. Something isn't fair or equal here. The playing field is not quite level. It is a con indeed a connection. It is indeed a soulmate connection. One more. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. What Leo thinks of the other person. Definitely a connection, definitely the potential of it for abundance. However, the give and take possibly not so equal or fair. Not quite sure why. Why is justice reversed here? Mm -hmm. 
Empress reversed. Mmm. They could possibly di be disconnecting from someone that they were married to or have children with. That's a good possibility. They could be in the midst of a divorce. It happens. These things happen. Maybe that's why the give and take can't be so equal right now. And this is such a slow starter. I mean, somebody here is in the midst of a heartbreak. It could be you. It could be them. Okay. Why is the hermit here? For how Leo, or what Leo wants from the other person. What Leo wants from this connection. King of Pentacles. Abundance. Slow moving progress, stability, going inside, seeing the lights, walking the path of healing, slowly walking that path. I'm not taking 20 cards. I'm going to take the King of Wands that was on top. Passion! Possibly! Sugar, spice, and everything nice. I mean, I am talking about Leo, right? You know I love you guys. You know I do. A little something, something. It's all good. It's all good. We're all adults here, right? At least we better be. Two of Pentacles. You want that balance. You want the equal give and take. And that's cool. That's cool. You want the package, baby. But you want to take your time getting there. Because there's healing here that needs to be done. And that's okay. I'm proud of you, Leo. I'm proud of you. You're not jumping in. I'm proud taking your time. What popped out? Nice. Page of Cups reversed. Ten of Swords in the upright. I'm going to lay this up here. Maybe we're toning down what we say. Allowing that pain to resolve itself. Allowing the sun to shine again. Just kind of sitting back, chilling, waiting. All right, why is the Ace of Pentacles here for what the other person feels about Leo? How the other person feels about Leo? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Um, yeah, the seed has been planted. The house plant is doing whatever house plants do in the house. <laughs> Sprout up, I guess, when you plant a seed and leave it inside. Um, shake it in the abundance part, though. That Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. Like, this is going to be a long haul. <laughs> Hierophant. I mean, that's good news. Definitely some good news, possibly a Taurus. Libra, Gemini, a lot of people on the board, lots of possibilities here. Why is justice here for what the other person thinks of Leo? Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups is reversed. Might be some mixed signals being thrown out here. I mean, on the surface, things are balanced, but on the underneath, it's like, okay, they kind of seem like they don't need me. I, I'm, I'm sensing mixed signals. Like, kind of like they're getting a vibe off of Leo that I got nine pentacles, I don't need yours. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of mixed signals going on here. I don't know. But you got to remember, there's somebody in this scenario that's hurting and closing out a cycle. So, <laughs> possibly in the midst of a divorce, going through a healing process. So, why is the Knight of Wands here? Six 
Six of Wands uh, reversed. Chariot upright. Karma reversed. Yeah. This person is still very pulled in two different directions. It's like, yeah, you know, I mean, this is going to be slow going. I think it has great potential. I definitely think your spouse material, or at least long-term relationship material, but you're throwing these mixed signals at me and not quite sure how good of an idea this is. They might not want to commit. I'm seeing this chariot here, and you know, pulled in two different directions, and you can't move forward if one horse wants to go that way and one horse wants to go. That. You're not going this way if you're going that way. It's just not. It's physics, guys. Come on. The horse can't go forward if it's trying to go left and right at the same time. You just kind of do this, and it's no. You can't do that. You can't do that. One more. I'm, I'm not taking five. So I'll just take the Knight of Swords, not look at the rest of them, put them back. Some good old fashioned honest communication needs to happen here. And y'all need to talk about what you really want. Ace of Swords came out in the reverse as I was looking at this card. So I'm going to throw it over here. Two of Cups in the upright. Possible obstacle is the get-together. Lack of communication. That's a huge obstacle. The Fool. So do we jump? Do we not? How much do I trust this person? <laughs> that Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is shaky. That Seven of Cups is in the reverse. That, that's confusion. That Six of Wands is in the reverse. That, that, that's lack of victory. I just don't know. Trusting yourselves, trusting the journey, trusting each other. That's huge. That's a huge obstacle. And one more on that. Okay, I'll take two. And I'm dropping cards on the floor. Okay, I'll take three. Queen of Swords, Five of Wands reversed, Knight of Wands reversed. It's the commitment. It's the... <sighs> lack of... Confrontation. It's honest communication. I mean, it's clear somebody's kind of hanging back, letting things just kind of work themselves out. Somebody's skittish. All right. Why is the magician here? And so it's reversed. Don't overthink it. Manifest what you want into this relationship. Don't overthink it. Don't look for red flags that aren't there. Four swords reversed. That's restless energy. Why is the four swords reversed here? Oh, the hanged man just flew right out on top of that. Okay. Accepting the fate of the situation. So, that's telling me somebody has some stuff they got to work out before this is going to work. Obviously, we already talked about potentially someone being in a connection still or in the process of disconnecting with someone that they potentially have children with. 
you got to wait that out. That's a process. It takes time. I've been through it. So, Accept the fates of the past situations and that it doesn't necessarily have to be a rerun in your next connection because you don't have to manifest that in. If you get yourself in a mindset, okay, well, the last five relationships I've been in didn't work, so this one isn't going to work. Of course it's not going to work. Why would you manifest that chaos into your life? You manifest what you want, not what you don't want, because the universe doesn't know the difference. Oh, the last five relationships didn't work, so this one isn't going to. Don't. Don't do that. But you got potential. Let the potential do something. Don't look for the red flags that aren't there. Mm. Let's get your advice, Leo. Ten of Cups and Temperance. Doggone it. I couldn't have picked two better cards. It's positive energy flow. Communication. You have to let positive energy flow into this if you want your Ten Cups. Do positive energy flow, it's interacting together in a positive manner. Hmm. Nah. Oh, I took three, so I'll read three Knight of Cups, Five of Swords, Four of Wands. Okay, that Knight of Cups, yeah, he has a tendency to, you know. Spill cups from time to time. He does. You just kind of got to pick up the pieces and pick up all your spilled cups and build the foundation for something positive and wonderful. And something to celebrate. When the doors open, walk on in. Or sometimes you just gotta walk away from the rubble. Just go for the open door. Go for stability. Something happy that you wanna celebrate. The devil and the hierophant. That's sound advice. The devil's not necessarily a bad card, and I'm not looking at it as a bad card in this instance. Just remember, every connection... What the devil really represents is a powerful soulmate connection, binding, and the hierophant kind of is the same thing. But this is like the soulmate life lesson one. The... The Hierophant is, is the teacher, as well as the student. So, take whatever lesson you were supposed to out of this, and leave the rest of the toxic crap behind. And don't allow yourself to be bound to it in your next relationship. That's what I get out of that. Okay? A couple more, and then I'm calling it August into September. Oh, wow. The shadows, the devil came out again. The shadow side and the nine of wands, both in the upright. The only way you're going to kick off, and I love this phrase, I'm going to say it again. The only way you're going to kick off the cement shoes of an old crappy connection is to give it one last push. Give it one last go. Give it one last try. Don't allow your heart to be all wall walled up forever. I mean, granted, keep your guard up so you don't get into another toxic connection. But at the same time, don't let your old toxic connections keep you like this. Because when you're like this, good stuff can't get in either. set and then we're calling it in August. Ace of Wands reversed, Eight of Wands in the upright. 
you got two options. Stand still and go nowhere, or hit the gas pedal and go. Leo, for the love of God, can you find a happy medium, please? Just, you know I love you guys. Be blessed. Just don't hit the gas pedal and blow the engine up in the truck. Because then you're not going to be going anywhere, okay? Take your time with it. Have fun. Learn whatever lesson you're supposed to learn. I appreciate you guys coming. Thanks for taking your time to be with us tonight. Or, you know, whenever you happen to watch this video. A lot of you are going to watch it this evening, so. Love you to bits! I'll catch you in a couple weeks for your October reading.